everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life and Trace Jolie. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel and subscribing. So you all, today we're going to be starting our first project using the August Scrapbooking Club Kit. And we are also going to be using the, one of the trays from the Mixed Media Kit. Um, I think I might be using this butter. Uh, this um, it is called Stardust Butter, so we might be using a little bit of that, and we might be using, um, I don't know what this moon shadow, I think it looks like this. I'm not sure if we're going to be using that or not, but um, I do know we're going to be using this uh, champagne color for this project, so let's go ahead and get started. To get started on our box, I went ahead and picked out a few sheets of paper and then I measured the outside of the box and the out inside of the box and also the top of the box. And these are the areas where I'm going to put strips of paper around the corner ends and inside. Next, I grabbed the Vermilion ink from the card kit and I went around the edges of the little wooden tray that I have here and just covering all of the edges of the box. Okay, next, after I cut out all of the strips to go around the edges of the wooden tray and then on top of the wooden tray and the inside edges of the wooden tray, I went ahead and distressed them and ink them. Next I took the 4x6 piece that we cut out for the inside of the tray and I distressed that and inked that as well. Okay so next I went ahead and separated all of my strips and then now we're going to go ahead and place the glue on top of the outside edge here of the wooden tray and I'm going to go ahead and attach my strips down and you're going to do this all the way around the edge of your tray. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the strips that you cut out for the inner uh, uh, inner sides of the box and you're going to go ahead and glue those down for the inside. and then we'll do the outside ones. <laughs> so here you're just going to go ahead and again just glue those down and place those inside. Okay so next I grabbed my four by six piece that we cut out and I went ahead and put some glue on the back of this and adhered it down to the inside of the tray. And then you're going to go ahead and burnish that down really well. You are also going to go ahead and place your strips to the outside edge of the tray. Next I cut a sentiment out from the cut apart page here and I just trimmed it down to fit on the inside of the tray. Okay, so the next thing we're doing is we're going to go ahead and start decorating and we're going to grab some of those beautiful flowers that are in the scrapbooking kit and we're going to start adding those to the inside of our tray. And I used hot glue to uh, attach them down, okay. Um, I did go ahead and cut a little bit of uh, that one black, it was like a gradient black strip with gray, and I cut that out so I could put my sentiment on top of that just to give it a nice little black um, border on the back. And um, that way it would stand out uh, on the tray. And then um, I really like that black border. See, I just think it stands out really well. So the next thing I did is I went ahead and just started adding my flowers on the inside and uh, gluing them down. And then I was going to add some of these little red flowers in there, but then I decided not to. Um, I decided to go ahead and um, add some of more of the white flowers that we had. I went ahead and punched out one of those butterflies from the um, perforated uh, um, ephemera pieces that we had in the scrapbook kit and just went ahead and laid that little butterfly down. I just thought that that looked so pretty. 
and really added a little dainty look to our frame. So um, next I grabbed the black leaves and I started placing those around. I did add some foam tape to the back of those leaves just to give them a little bit of a more dimension. Since the flowers were a little bit more raised, I figured the leaves needed to be raised a little bit more. So once I got the foam tape on the back, I went ahead and placed those down amongst the flowers. I really like how this little tray was turning out, especially with the black leaves and then the black border around the sentiment. I think it added a little bit of a, a nice contrast to the pink and the white uh, that are in the palette. And then um, you could always just place this on a desk or a mantle just for decoration. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to this little uh, wood tray. And so I grabbed some little glitter glass that I had on hand along with some German glitter glass beads. And um, I went ahead and stuck those on there by placing down some glue first all over the flowers and the frame inside. Grabbed the glitter glass and I went ahead and just placed it all over the flowers and, and everywhere. <laughs> Even though you can't see the glitter glass once it's on here, once it dries you will be able to see it. And all of the little sparklies on the flowers and the butterfly. So next what I did is I just grabbed some black flat back gems from my stash and I placed it uh, three of them on top of the sentiment area. Next I grabbed my stickles and I went around the white flowers uh, that is on top of the sentiment card and then I also went ahead and outlined the word you. I also placed some of the stickles around the butterfly area and amongst the little flowers here. And just to give it a little bit more of a, you know, glittery effect. <laughs> and I really am loving how this tur is turning out. I think it tr is turning out so, so pretty. Next, I added a bit of the Stardust Butter, the champagne color, and I just sporadically placed that around the edges here on top and then on the sides. I didn't do it very heavy, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a color on there. And um, it kind of like a worn type look. It, it was really subtle, so it didn't like stand out, but it was very nice looking. Okay, everybody, so we are done with our little wooden tray, and I think this turned out so pretty. I absolutely love how it turned out. I love how using the glitter glass really added some nice sparkly touch to the flowers and to the inside of the box along with the golden little beads. Um, I think that they're so, so pretty. I also like how I have a little bit of a, a glittery right here on top of the sentiment. So, so pretty. Absolutely love how this turned out, y'all. So if you haven't tried or seen the new kits that are out for August, please head over to the store and check them out. I will leave all the links down below and I will also leave a link to the reveal that I just did on August 1st for the kits. You you guys are going to love this paper. It is so, so pretty. And so I hope you join me and check out our design team over at our Facebook page. It is called Trace Jolie Club Cafe. You will see all of the design team projects and you will see also projects from some of our crafty friends that are on there. Thank you guys again for joining me. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye!
Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time. 